In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a slideshow directly from Photoshop Elements. As you can see here, I've got three files open already, Collage 01, 02 and 03. And I've gone ahead from the organizer and imported these into my current catalog. To create my slideshow, all I need to do is select these files and then come across and click on Create. Within here, you can see I have a whole range of options. I'm going to choose Slideshow. What this is going to do is bring up a Slideshow Preferences dialog. This is where I can set up the default options and also my preview or playback options as well. Within the Slideshow default options, I can set up the static duration and this just controls how long an image will actually appear on the screen. I can also choose a transition from this list here. I've got a whole range of different options available. I'm going to leave that on fade for now. I can also set up the transition duration. At the moment, you can see it's set up to two seconds. I think that'll serve me well. I can change the background color and also apply any one of these options. I can also come down within preview playback options and tell Photoshop Elements what type of quality I want my images to be. You can see we have low, medium and high. I'm going to leave it on high for now because I want a really good quality image. And now I'm going to press OK. So what will happen once you press OK is the slideshow editor appears. What you may need to do is you may need to maximize this window because in most cases it will be a free floating window. I'm going to maximize that again so it does dominate the whole screen here. And now that we've done this, what you can see is we've got a really new complex workspace. We have a slideshow window, and this controls the current slide view and everything that's happening there. We also have some menu buttons where we can apply different things to our image. We have the ability to apply extras in the forms of little animal characters or backgrounds. We've got costumes and also ornaments and frames. We have a properties panel, and this is just relevant depending on the type of object you have selected on your slide frame over here. We also have a little film strip which controls our slides and also our transitions. And we have some menus up the top. So we've got File, Edit, View. And we have a little playback section. So if I was to click on my first frame here within the film strip and click Play, you can see I'd get a nice preview of that. And that's looking quite nice. I might stop that by clicking on Pause. And now I'm going to show you how you can customize your slideshow. If I was to click on this slide here and want to change the duration it was available on the screen, all I'd need to do is come down below that slide and click on this little arrow here. Once I do that, you can see I can set this now to 7 seconds, if that's what I wanted to do. I can also control the transitions by clicking on it, first to select it, and then I can come to the property section and I can change the type of transition that it actually is. So if I want to change it from a fade to maybe a dissolve, I'll select that there, and that's now set. I can also change the transition duration by clicking here and changing that maybe to four seconds. If I want to preview that again, all I need to do is come down here to the film strip, click on that particular photo, and press play. And as you can see, that's now working. In about seven seconds, that's going to change over and dissolve, and that's looking quite nice. I'll stop that again, and if I wanted to add text to this, all I'd need to do is click on the slide that I wanted to add text within. Then I'll click on add text and that'll put some text within the middle of the image here on the slide itself. And all I need to do is type my text in. So if I type in here slideshow and press OK, you can see that's now active text. I can move this anywhere I like just by clicking and dragging. And if I want to change the colors or the formatting options, all I need to do with that selected is come down to the properties panel. I can click on edit text and that'll allow me to type something new in. I'll press cancel to that at the moment. You can change the font type and size and also change the color, which would probably be a good idea here. I'm going to click on that and from the color picker, I might choose red. I'll press OK and now you can see that has been applied. I also have the ability to apply a drop shadow. If I click on this little option here, a drop shadow will be applied to that. You can see we also have strike through, underline, italics and bold. You can change the justification from centered to left or even to right. I'll click back on centered for now. If I want to apply one of these little guys up here, all I need to do is click on that and drag that out over into my slideshow. You'll see because that's selected, the properties have changed and I can control the size of this little character. If I want to move him in position, maybe somewhere about here, 
can do that and also resize directly within the slide itself. Now if I want to select between objects, all I need to do is click on that particular object and now you can see the text is active and I've moved that into position. If I want to select this image here, I'll just click on that. You can see it now has a bounding box applied and all the properties for that particular image are available. What's interesting about this is I can change the size directly from here. I can also apply an auto smart fix. So this would color correct any images within my slideshow. Once you're done and you've set up your slideshow as you think looks best, you may want to come up here and save this as a project. You can see it's going to ask you for a name. I'm just going to remove untitled there and call it slideshow. And now I'm going to click save. So that's gone ahead and saved that into my catalog. And now we're going to have a look at viewing in full screen mode. If I was to come up here to these little menu buttons and click on full screen preview, you can see now that that's really large. And that's given me a good idea of this slideshow and exactly how it's going to look. So that's working well. To get out of here, I'm just going to press escape on the keyboard. And you can see now I'm back in the slideshow editor. One last thing that we really need to take a look at is how we can output this particular slideshow. If I come up here and click on output, what you'll notice is I have three main options. I can save as a file, I can burn to disk, or send to TV. For now, I'm just going to look at save as file. You can see here we can save this as a movie file, which is a .wmv file, or a PDF. We also get some control over the size of the slides as well. So from this menu, we can actually choose any size depending on the type of monitor or screen this was going to be projected from. I'm going to click off there and press cancel. And as you can see, that's a quick overview at having a look at slideshows and the new slideshow editor within Photoshop Elements.